Hello everyone and let's talk about Scalp by Carver Pike. I read this digitally so of course you're seeing a um, image there and I gotta say I look forward to reading more books from this author because I found this entertaining and awesome. So Scalp by Carver Pike. This was published in 2020 and this is a standalone adult horror. There was an audiobook available on Audible and it was narrated by Rue Faro and is 10 hours and 11 minutes on standard one time speed. This book takes place in Clydesville, West Virginia and is told in third person. So what is Scalp about? Without entering into spoilers, I can tell you it's basically about lice that when they land on your head, they are very fast, they burrow, they hurt, they hurt, and they turn you into a zombie. Um, and there's only one way to kill said zombie, and I'm going to leave that alone. Um, and they don't care if the hair is on your head or your pubic area or just eyebrows. They don't care. They do not discriminate against the, on the location. As long as they can attach to hair and they attach to you, you're dead. You're like gone within a minute or two at the most. So, yeah. So this one, it goes through, it has a couple of different POVs. And one of them is a teenager and she's at this summer type camp for the youth. And this outbreak of lice, you know, it's, they, they also don't discriminate against species. So you have zombie like deer and bear and that. Obviously fish don't have hair, so they're safe. Um, birds don't have hair, so they're pretty much safe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, but anything else, you're, you're, you're dead. Um, they move and swarm in a cluster. Yeah. <laughs> and this summer camp is at a, for these youth, are at a college. And so the kids are sleeping in dorms and stuff. And not too far away from that is a small town. And so you can imagine the devastation and outbreak like a swarm of lice that turns people into zombies can be that type of devastation. So, and let's see, I'm trying to think what else. That's pretty much all I can tell you. It's a horror and I really don't want to go into spoilers. So, <clears throat> What are your representations? You have someone who has been battling cancer represented. As far as racial diversity, you're going to have to use your own imagination on that. Um, but you do have someone that's talked about them having type 2 diabetes, so that is mentioned as well. Um, that's another uh, di uh, representation in the book. Um... I will say this, there is an insect type creature that you gain a greater appreciation for when it comes to this book. And I'll, I'll let you figure that out too. But this creature, I thought they were pretty and I appreciate them even more. So, <laughs> according from this book. So fast moving lice that turn you to zombies. Mm, yeah. Okay, what are your content and your trigger warnings? It's a horror book, you know, so there's gonna be a lot. You have an act of suicide, you have suicidal thoughts, you have loss of loved ones, you have attempted incest, you have sexual assault alluded to, um, you have gore, yeah, animal death, because these lies don't discriminate. There is a sexually explicit scene and hence why I said they don't discriminate discriminate against what location <laughs> they can attach to your hair. So there is that. Now with that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and tell you in case you're still on the fence, 
Let's go through the words in case there's a word that you want absolutely nothing to do with. Now this book, the edition that I read was 308 pages. So the words used are as follows. We have batshit, one time. Ass, 26. Damn it, four. The word Lord, seven, not in a religious sense. Hell, 45. Pedophile, once. The word God, 36, not in a religious sense. The name Jesus, four, again, not religious context. Asshole, 40. Shit show, once. Dog shit, once. Chicken shit, once. Son of a bitch, eight. Breasts, one. Pecker, twice. Jerked off, twice. Hussy, once. Pornography, four times. The word suicide, twice. Nail, twice. Douchebag, twice. Horn dog, once. Tits, four. The word laid, twice. Bastard, 15. Nipple, twice. Screwed, once. Piss, 23. Get some, once. Bitch, five. Motherfucker, five. Ape shit, twice. Clit, twice. Turn on, once. Hard on, twice. Felt up, once. Cock, four. Pussy, seven. Hump, once. Mound, three. Nub, once. Hard, once. Wet, twice. Orgasm, three. Dick, four. Abortion, once. Road, once. Get off, once. Tight, once. Bullshit, twice. Badass, four. Hornball, once. Erotic, once. Orgy, twice. Virgin, three times. Wood, once. Boner, once. God awful, three times. Erection, once. Goddamn, four. Smartass, once. Hellbent, four. Balls, three. Jackass, once. God knows what, once. Ass whooping, once. Flaccid, once. Damn, 74. Horny, once. Boob, twice. Fuck, 129 times. And I would definitely be letting that fly in this situation. <laughs> I totally would. Uh, shit, 70. Anus, once. Prick, once. Dumbass, once. Arouse, once. And skank, once. So those are your word usages. Um, so in case that sways you to allow yourself to pick up the book or say, mm, not for me. Uh, yeah, let me know. Have you read anything by uh, Carver Pike? I will definitely be picking up more of this author's work. This was a very fun read for me. This, I, I loved this book. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is this something that you are that you have read and did you like it or not? Is this something that you are now intrigued to pick up or is this not for you? Let me know. Talk to me in the comment section below. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I will talk to you later.